Okay, we are going to solve this integral. Integral of dx over square root of 16 plus 4x minus 2x squared. But here I can immediately factor the denominator. So I have 16, 4, and minus 2. So I can factor out 2 from that. And thus I can rewrite this integral as integral dx over square root of 2 multiplied by the quantity of 8 plus 2x minus x squared. But from here, I can factor out this 1 over square root of 2 to the outside of the integral. So I will have 1 over square root of 2 integral of dx over square root of 8 plus 2x minus x squared. Okay, now I want to complete the perfect square here. Here I have 2x and minus x squared. So I will need this 8 to be separated by 4 plus 4. So let's rewrite that. Square root of 1 over square root of 2 integral dx over square root of 4 plus 4 plus 2x minus x squared. And if we see here on this part, this is equivalent to 2 minus x squared quantity of 2 minus x squared so i can rewrite that integral as 1 over square root of 2 integral of dx over square root of 4 plus 2 minus x squared Okay, now what can we do from here? I want to do u substitution. So because this is 2 minus x and dx is can be rewritten as the differentiation of this part. So I can get u is equal 2 minus x and then du is equal to minus dx or dx is equal to minus du. Okay, so now we can rewrite this integral as 1 over square root of 2 integral of du. Ah, sorry, dx. And dx is minus du. So let's get minus du over square root of this one is 4 plus 2 minus x quantity of 8 squared 2 minus x is u u squared okay and i can take out the minus sign to the front so i will have this integral here and i will stop here and I will move this one to the top. Okay, so far we have this integral and if we take a look at this square root of 4 plus u squared, this is a ideal form for doing trigonometric substitution with u is some constant tangent theta and because we want to cancel out 4 so we will use 2 tangent theta and what that that implies so we can differentiate both sides du is equal to 2 second squared theta d theta okay now let's plug that to here so i will have this as minus 1 over square root of 2 integral of du du is 2 second 
square theta d theta divided by square root of 4 plus 2 tangent theta will be 4 tangent square theta and we can now use trigonometric identities so here I can factor out 4 so I will have this the nominator is still intact divided by square root of 4 1 plus tangent square theta And then I will have minus 1 over square root of 2 integral 2 second square theta d theta divided by square root of 4 and remember that 1 plus tangent square theta is equal to second square theta. So I will insert that. Second square theta and okay, let's simplify that minus one over square root of two integral of two second square theta d theta divided by two second theta. Okay, now this cancel out, this cancel out, this cancel out, and I will have minus 1 over square root of 2 integral second theta d theta. And this will be minus 1 over square root of 2 of learn natural logarithm of tangent theta plus secant theta plus integration constant and we need to make this theta back into x so I will have minus 1 over square root of 2 learn tangent x tangent x is tangent theta tangent theta is here u is equal to 2 tangent theta so tangent theta is u over 2 plus secant theta we need to draw right angle triangle and here is theta and because tangent theta is u over 2 so this is u and this is 2 so I will have this as u squared plus 4 and so secant theta is the hypotenuse square root of u squared plus 4 divided by this side so over 2 and so we will have this as square root of u squared plus 4 divided by 2 plus integration constant. And remember that u is 2 minus x, so we can replace that 2 minus x, and this is 2 minus x squared. So here is our final answer. Thank you for watching.